Uh, weather this afternoon is all about location along the coastal areas and east of Highway 17. We've got a decent amount of sunshine. Temperatures just shy of that 80 degree mark. Further inland, though, we're holding on to that cloud cover, although it is starting to break up with cloudy skies. Uh, gradually thinning out here for us in the Greenville area and along the Crystal Coast uh, straight Stacy Betty Davis Gloucester Marshallburg seeing a few light spotty showers working their way in especially across open ground farm this will be the case for the day today it's going to be these uh, little spotty showers working their way inland now there is a lot of dry air across the inland locations for us here so we're not expecting to see widespread showers but a five or ten minute shower in your backyard is not out of the question and like I said we're starting to see Lenore County Green County, Pitt County uh, thin out as far as the cloud cover is concerned. In spite of the clouds, we're still 5 to almost 15 degrees warmer than where we were this time yesterday. Checking in at 73 in Jacksonville, 74 in New Bern, and looking at 83 showing up there in Swansboro. You can see that wind changing direction there as that little disturbance offshore is making its way inland for us here, taking those winds from northeasterly to more southeasterly, and that's going to help warm us up as we head on in through the weekend here. So mid to upper 70s, well above average for this time of year. That's what we're going to top out at today. Again, kind of more nuisance scattered showers around for us this afternoon. Overnight tonight, we'll see those skies go clear back down only into the 60s. Average lows this time of year should be into the 40s. Now, the clear skies, though, could again, deep inland areas have some uh, patchy ground fog form. Uh, generally, east of the Mississippi River, we've got nothing but sunny skies. The exception is right here in eastern North Carolina with that little system working its way on shore here. Big high pressure exiting off of the northern mid Atlantic states that's dominating our weather for the weekend. No issues, like I said, if you're going to be headed out to Friday night football games this evening, temperatures coming down at through the 70s into the 60s. As we head on in through tonight, we'll see those clear skies around. As we go through tomorrow, looking at those temperatures once again, returning back into the upper 70s and low 80s. And the model's picking up on maybe spotty sprinkle, but I think the majority of us do remain dry. Now, we do start to bring some high level clouds in here as we head on in through the day on Sunday. And that's going to be ahead of a front that, for the most part, will stay out to our west, but we're back up near that 80 degree mark. Then as we get through the middle of the week, that upper level load that was over us yesterday is down in the Bahamas. That's going to generate an area of low pressure along the southeast coast that could be a tropical or subtropical system and definitely going to bring us some uh, coastal flooding issues and some wind problems. So notice much cooler temperatures with the rain by the middle to the end of the week.